Hello, new wave of British Heavy Metal.com here today. It's the 22nd of December 2023. Use your quick request, please, if I might make that of you. And uh, if that's if I can ask you to subscribe to the channel, please, that'd be great. Big help. So please click the button if you would. Today we're looking at Ice Age and their album Waves of Loss and Power. Now, I didn't know too much about Ice Age before I, uh, I got this. But apparently they, they go back to around the turn of the century, uh, released a couple of albums, and then disappeared until April of this year. Uh, they, they reappeared out of nowhere with, with this Waves of Loss and Power album. A friend recommended it to me recently, saying that it, in its, um, it, its classy progressive metal, which he, he figured would be my bag, and in, indeed it is, so I went out and bought one straight away, and on listening to it, I certainly agree with, with, with my friend and, and thank him for the recommendation, because it is indeed classic progressive metal. Well, more than, more than that. It's got everything that, that, uh, that, that it needs. All, all the elements required are there, all pieced together in well-written songs, excellent musicianship. It's a re real pleasure to listen to. Uh, and, and the mixture of um, epic pieces, you know, like 10, 15 minutes with with some shorter ones inserted in between it makes it quite a varied listen as well. We've got excellent varied riffs, scorching solos, inventive precise drumming, intricate flowing bass, which is nicely up in the mix. Uh, variety of keyboards and synths, range of vocals, and you know it's exactly what you need in 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 good progressive metal, isn't it? And it's all here, and that hour's listening time flashes by. You know the, the longer songs, uh, we've we got two 15 minutes, uh, about a 10 and a 10 minute, a 12 minute, and they don't feel bloated or extended or stretched out just for the sake of it, like like can happen. Doesn't apply in this case. And the shorter, more punchy ones sandwiched between them, so it, it makes it quite, quite an interesting listen. If we just have a quick look at some of the longer tracks first, the needle eye, it's hard immediately, doesn't let up. Seven minutes, bang, we're off. Uh, you know, it, it packs a lot into that seven minutes as well. And again, you know, it, it, there's an immediate indication that this is top class progressive metal with a bit of a symphonic edge, and it's not messing about. River flow, 10 minutes, big guitar, comes in after the piano intro, fades and falls away, nicely paced melodic element in here, sweeping chorus, top stuff. Perpetual Child Part 2, Forever, uh, a quarter of an hour of sublime twisting and turning, heavy prog metal, many time changes, it's really impressive. And um, continuing that trend, you know, the, the closing track of to, to Say Goodbye Part 4, Water Child, another 15 minutes, classic, sublime, heavy, sim symphonic, progressive metal. It's, it's as good as you could want to hear, really. And, and leading into that, uh, To Say Goodbye Part 4, we've got To Say Goodbye Part, sorry, Part 5, Water Child. Leading into that, To Say Goodbye Part 4, Remembrance, is, is, is a nice touch, bit of a surprise there, because we've got about two minutes of a, of a, of a sort of a classic piano intro solo. What else we got going on? Well, in, in, in between the epics, uh, we, we've got some shorter ones. All My Years has Ice Age thumping out around about four minutes of an upbeat, catchy, more melodic song, but it's got a nice spiky riff. It goes along at a nice pace and it's got a big hook which gets straight in, straight into the head and stays there. Very, very catchy, but very, very well done. And Float Away, that's reasonably similar. But overall, uh, after I've spun this a good few times, uh, I think Waves and Loss and Power, sorry, Waves, I'm, I'm a bit tongue-tied today, aren't I? Waves of Loss and Power comes into me as, as an hour of first-class, high quality progressive metal fresh and upbeat and it, it nods back to the old days as well if you think like seven that like 70s 80s when when the likes of kansas and sticks were, were were in their prime and indeed talking about that if you do like classic kansas sticks symphony x shadow gallery dream theater and the like when 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 bands like that were in the prime 
you, you won't go wrong with Ice Age because said that th this is proper classy stuff. Waves of, waves of loss and power. You can't go wrong with it, really, if, if you like, you know, Kansas Sticks, Symphony X, etc., etc. Do check it out. Seriously recommended stuff. I'm going to clear off and see if I can find CDs of the first two albums. I'll put a link to this one in the description below on Amazon so you can go and check it out there in whatever formats it's still available in. I mean, I, I CD for me as always, but I'm sure there'll be download and streaming if, if, uh, if you prefer that kind of stuff. Please subscribe to the channel before you go. That would be marvellous. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and take care.